Hi, I'm Christina Lee, and I'm going to be exploring the underground world of burlesque. We're going to be interviewing former NYU students, as well as other big players in the current burlesque scene. Well, I was a graduate student in the performance studies department at New York University, and every year they sort of solicit us, uh, <laughs> graduate students, to come up with classes. Um, and at the time, I thought, wow, this would be really interesting because I was involved with the burlesque movement, which at that point was sort of a underground performance yeah. arty movement. And I thought it would be really cool because it also has a very strong historical background that's important for drama students to know. So I thought it would fit really well with the drama department. And they picked it up, which was kind of amazing yeah. and kind of a lot of work because there's not much written on burlesque. So I sort of invented that syllabus. Um, and so here we are, it's 2014, it's yeah. almost been 10 years and I've taught it at least once a year. As I want them to um, you know, have whatever ideas they have and that as the semester continues, sort of develop their own ideas about it. Because I definitely don't want to, um, I don't even define it and we don't even talk about the new movement until um, the class is already half over. So it's, it's all historical, theoretical, and one thing... I went into burlesque because of personal reasons and a desire to express myself in a different medium other than writing. I went into it without really thinking like, oh, there's like not a lot of like, you know, women of color. I went into doing it because I wanted to do it, but I did notice right, right off the bat that there's not a lot of diversity. To address that, now that I've been doing burlesque for six, seven years, um, I've created a show called the Asian Burlesque Spectacular, which we are in our second annual. We so did I actually co-produced it with Suki Singapore, who is also a uh, Singaporean performer, and Jen Capay, who is New York based. Jen Capay is one of is the producer of the New York Burlesque Festival, one of the producers of it. Anyway, so we created this event to showcase Asian performers specifically, and the acts don't have to be Asian. They they're just you know. We just want to showcase Asian burlesque performers in the U.S. and internationally. Um, the best resource is just this one individual's blog, and his name is Ed Barnes, and he keeps a calendar, and he keeps all the shows there. And so that's a great resource. There's also burlesque listings now in Time Out New York that did not exist a while <laughs> ago. Um, and the one place I really recommend um, during the summertime is the Burlesque by the Beach series at Coney Island. Okay. And it's one of the longest running um, burlesque series in New York City. Um, and it's curated by Bambi the Mermaid and the great okay. Ferdini. Okay. Um, and a lot of people put their A game into those shows, a lot of bigger conceptual, a lot of performance art happening out there. So that's pretty cool. You can always come to the Slipper Room. Um, and there's lots of venues in New York. It depends if you like it, you know, upscale or down and dirty. So. <laughs>